Hi, and welcome to TechSit Tutorials. Today we're going to learn about uh, scope and scope chain in JavaScript. Scope chain is probably one of the most important topic in JavaScript because um, many programmers make this particular mistake where they actually jump into JavaScript without understanding scope uh, thoroughly and pays hefty, hefty price for it. And I couldn't find any good book where it explains it well. And so I thought, okay, it's my responsibility to, to actually uh, create this tutorial for those who are still struggling to understand scope or at least starting out uh, and, you know, and, and trying to learn JavaScript properly. So like many other languages, JavaScript follows lexical scoping. Means scope of a variable is defined by its location within the code means location where you define your variable is very important. Now you need to understand this next line. This is the mantra of the scoping in JavaScript. Nested functions have access to variables declared in their outer space. So we're going to come back to this statement, but let's understand it first how it works. So let's say you have a, a, this blue box, which is a global scope. And then within that blue box, you have another box, green box, which is a, a function A. And then there is a nested function B within a function A. Now we're going to look at a, uh, a code example in, in a bit, but I just want to explain it to you in, in this format so that it makes much more sense. That means B should have access to variables defined in function A. And then function A should have access to variables defined in global scope. Let's say you have a variable G equal to global in, a, in the global scope. And then I'm going to have another variable, variable A equal to A in func. It's written within function A. And then I have another variable called B uh, in function B. Now let's see who can access what. So now function A can obviously access anything above it, which is a global scope. So it has access to G equal to global, but it does not have access to variable B because it's, it's nested within function A. So you only have access to something that is, that is out of scope. Function B also has access to variables defined in global scope all the way. Outer scope means anything outer than outer than B, which is which means function A and global scope for, for function B. And it also has access to variables defined in function A. Now let's write some code. So you know in order to write code we're gonna we're gonna use this wonderful site called uh, jsfiddle.net JS Fiddle, if you have never used it, allows you to actually write code and uh, see the result right away. So you can write your HTML here, you can write your JavaScript here, CSS here, and in this box you will see the result. So what we're going to do is we're going to write some JavaScript in this box. Okay. Um, so let's start. So this considers a global scope. We haven't written anything in here. Uh, this is our. This is a global. Uh, scope here. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a variable called global uh, equal to, it's a string, global. Okay. Now um, second thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to write a function a Okay. Now within this function, uh, we're going to write another variable called variable AA equal to AA. So we have a global scope and then we have a function A and this is the scope of function A between those two, two lines. Line 7 and 11 is a, the scope of function A. What we're going to do now is um, 
run this function by just calling it here. I can just do this and it will run this function. Okay. Um, but I want to know if if this variable accessible within this function. So I want to know if the global scope, uh, anything defined in a global scope is accessible within this function. So what I'm going to do is simply write um, alert. I can just say alert um, global. If it's available within the scope, then it should um, it should alert it should send it should open a message. If it's not available, then it would give an error. Okay, so let's run this. As you can see, it uh, gave me a pop-up. That means it's available. Okay. Now let's do something else. Is it available? Is A of AA available outside? A. Let's try. And I'm just gonna comment this so that we don't get confused. Now, make sure because if it's if it's uh, not available, then it should give me. I'm just opening here. I'm just gonna inspect the element here. So I I'm gonna run it again. Okay, it gave me an error here. Say AA is not defined. That means it's not available. A is not available within the global sp scope. So that means anything that you define within A is not available outside A, but anything that is defined outside A in global scope is available inside A. All right, we're not done yet. You know, there are way more to, to know about uh, scope chain and uh, um, I'm not gonna cover everything, but let's cover a couple of other things here um, so we we get all the uh, basics covered so the next thing we're going to understand is shadowing and overriding for that we are going to go back to the JS fiddle and uh, let's um, let's start with again you know global variable global equal to global and you're gonna have a function a and within that function okay within that function what we're gonna do we're gonna try to override the the global okay one way to do it is um, you can simply say global equal to um, overriding global okay and I'm just gonna have an alert here alert I'm gonna say from function a and I'm just gonna write the value of global here okay I'm just going to call the function here after that so we have to call the function so you can execute it function a that's it now so simple we have a global variable um, and then within the scope of this function a we're gonna override the global variable using global equal to this. So initially the value is global. Now the value within this becomes overriding goal. So let's look at it, how it works. Now it says again, okay, from the function A, uh, overriding global. So it changed the value somewhere here, right? Now if I just uh, comment this out and what happened outside after I call this function I'm gonna try calling again and this time I'm just gonna say from after function a execution 
So this is after you change the variable, does it come back to the original value? So let's do this. No, you can still see that it, the value has changed. So this is how you override a, a variable that is outside your scope. Okay, now in this example, uh, we're gonna make a, a, a tiny change. So in this line here, eight, instead of um, overriding, we are going to redefine the variable global. So we define first time in the global scope and now redef redefining the same variable uh, within a local scope of A. Uh, but we instead of overriding global, we're going to call it redefining global. Okay, now we're going to run this. Let's see what happens. So again, you can see that within the function A, when I alert the global, it's you can see it's now redefining global. But different from prior, prior example, if I try to call it again from outside the scope of A, what happens? It changes back its value to global. It's no longer, as soon as it comes out of the execution of A, it's, it becomes the original value. Well, actually it's not. What happened in this situation is that when I redefined it, it created a new variable, global, which shadowed the, the global variable that I defined in the uh, global space. This is called shadowing. So in, in, the, in the computer programming, variable shadowing occurs when a variable declared within a certain scope uh, in this case, uh, it's the uh, the local scope of A, has the same name as a variable declared in the outer scope. It's not overloading or overriding, which is completely different, where it uh, just changes the value of the one that is defined outside the scope. Uh, this basically shadows the variable that was defined outside. So if you want to try this particular example, you can, uh, I have saved the example at uh, the JS fiddle, my JS fiddle. Uh, you can type, you can pause it here and then type in following uh, URL to actually see the code in action. In the following tutorials, I will cover some of the most important uh, fundamentals of JavaScript, such as closer, hoisting, um, objects, uh, etc. And if you want particular topic cover please um, email me or you can always leave a comment on my website or a YouTube um, comment section and if you feel that um, I need some improvement or um, if you like a particular thing about this uh, tutorial then please uh, write it and like the video and um, subscribe the channel thank you